Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the latest Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2, which is KB5043076. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, just to let you know that once again, unfortunately, there are a couple of issues that this update apparently is causing, where there are quite a few reports doing the rounds on Microsoft's feedback hub that 5043076 uh, is causing a couple of problems. Now, the first is that File Explorer apparently is crashing for some users when launched from the taskbar. So if you have your File Explorer pinned to your taskbar, there are reports on the feedback hub that some users are saying File Explorer is crashing when it's pinned to the taskbar. I must be honest, I'm not experiencing that issue. But just let me do know down in the comments if you are. I'd like to know if this is a more widespread problem than it currently is. And then the next one, it seems that I have been experiencing where um, there are reports that phishing protection in the Windows Security app is resetting to off when it's been turned on. And apparently this is going from on to off after restarting or shutting down the PC. And if we just head over to the Windows Security app and we get to phishing protection by heading to app and browser control and clicking on reputation-based protection settings. And I had noticed um, when I checked this before posting this video, this was off and it used to be on. So obviously um, that is a bit of a problem. So that's something Microsoft will have to fix and I can confirm that that was turned to off in my case. And then the last one that's um, kind of important enough to mention for this video, there are other several little niggly issues that some users have experienced, but I'm just mentioning the three main ones and just to put it out there in case you were unaware or have been experiencing these issues is regarding user account control, UAC for short. Now user account control can be accessed by heading to your control panel and then head into your user accounts. And here we go, change user account control settings. I have mine turned off. I don't like the prompts all the time. And I'll actually post a video how you can turn this off um, if you are unaware. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. But apparently, um, user account controls are blocked when you try to click run as administrator. So it's it's the user account control warnings are blocking you when you try to click an app and run it as administrator. So that's what the problem is. And um, obviously that's something else that's been reported over on the Microsoft Feedback Hub. Now, obviously it goes without saying, if the negatives are outweighing the positives and there are too many issues after you have installed this update because it is a compulsory mandatory update, then I could suggest uninstalling it. Although it did provide... Um, security fixes but you can head to your update history scroll right down to the bottom and click on uninstall updates and find the update and just click on uninstall and then what you'll have to do though just to make sure though it doesn't try to reinstall itself when you come back or restart your machine is you need to pause the update um, for as long as you need to because it'll just have to it'll just want to reinstall itself so just take note of that if you do uninstall it and at this stage um, Microsoft hasn't acknowledged uh, these recent issues um, the reports of the file explorer crashes the phishing protection being turned off and obviously that user account control warning problem but we hope they do sort this out sooner than later and if anything becomes officially available on their known issues health dashboard page regarding this obviously i'll let you know but let me know in the comments are you experiencing these issues i just want to know if this is a bit of a more widespread problem than currently thought so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one